Good morning, children. I like it when children sing. So let us see if you can sing some of our songs. We have a song we like in South Africa very, very, very much. It goes like this. This little light of mine. Come on, boys. Are you shy? Come, let your light shine. If you don't show the moves, then just dance and sing. Are you ready? This little light of mine. songs that is easy to sing in your language goes like this in English. As for me and my house, listen to the words, we will serve the Lord, me and my house. We will serve the Lord. Those were the words that Joshua said to the whole nation when they were not sure if they wanted to serve God. Do you want to serve God? Yes! Woo! With all your heart? Yes! With all your mind? Yes! With all your strength? Yes! Say, with all my heart? Yes! With all my mind? Yes! With all my strength? <laughs> I love you, Lord! I love you, Lord! With all my heart and all my mind and all my strength, I love you, Lord. With all my heart and all my mind and all my strength, I love you, Lord. With all my heart and all my mind and all my strength, I love you, Lord. With all my heart and all my mind and all my strength, I love you, Lord. Ooh, I think God is smiling because you said, with everything. Thing that is in me. I want to praise God, I love Him, and I serve Him. Now this song says, As for me and my house, I will serve the Lord, me and my house. I will serve the Lord, me and my house. I will serve As for me and my house. Look at the teachers, they know it. Me and my house. I will serve the Lord. Me and my house. I will serve the Lord. Me and my house. I will serve. I will serve the Lord. Now all the boys, we are going to pretend that you are fathers. So the teachers okay. and the boys. What does the father say? I will serve the Lord. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. What does the father say? And girls, you are the mothers. And what did the mother say? I will serve. Okay, let's do that part again. And when I say children, I want to hear all of your voices. 
we will serve the Lord. Okay. Fathers, where's the fathers? What did the fathers say? And what did the mothers say? But what does the children say? going to sing one line. What does the principal say? I will praise the Lord. Oh, now the teachers. What do the teachers say? Oh, wonderful. You've got a good school if the principal and the teachers serve God. Let's hear if what do the children of Muslim say? the only religion that serves a God that is alive. Amen. Is that wonderful? Amen. We cannot see God with our eyes. We cannot touch Him. But we know He is alive and He lives in heaven and where else? Where does God want to live? Where does God want to live? In my heart, in my heart, in my heart. That is where God wants to live. So if you opened your heart for Jesus to come into your life, then you are called a Christian. A Christian is not only someone who goes to church or who sings a song about Jesus. It is someone who knows that God is alive inside of him. So this song says, Go! 
I feel it in my hands, I feel it in my feet, I feel it in my head, I feel it in the streets, I feel it in the air, I feel it everywhere. Yes, I feel it all over me. It's hands, I feel it in my hands, I feel it in my feet. I feel it in my head, I feel it in the streets, I feel it in the air, I feel it everywhere, I feel it all over me, oh yeah! No, 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 something very special. What is this? Oh, what does the cap do? It makes me look smart. Ah, it protects me from the sun, so sometimes I have to use a cap. And on this cap there are many pictures. The first picture I want to show you is not the sun. It is a white heart. On which side is it? On this side is a white heart. Is this heart clean or is this heart dirty? Clean. It is clean. I wonder what my heart looks like. I wonder what you and I look like inside. How do I know what is inside of me? The Bible say, say, whatever is in the heart comes out of the mouth. So if I'm angry in my heart, what comes out of my mouth? Angry words. If I'm sad in my heart, what comes out? Sad words. If I'm afraid in my heart, what comes out? Fearful words. Oh, they're going to kill me! <laughs> what comes out of a clean, good heart? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, faithfulness, all the fruit of the Spirit that we read about in the Bible, Galatians 5. How do I get a clean heart? Does anyone know? I take soap and water and I wash my clothes. How do you get your dress clean? Soap and water. A little bit of soap, water, wash, wash, wash. Hang it on the, on, the, on the wire. How do I get my heart clean? Anyone? Do you know? Can I help you? The blood of Jesus. Open your arms like this. Jesus died on the cross. The blood of Jesus cleanses me from all my sin. Say again. The blood of Jesus cleanses me from all my sin. That's a Bible verse. So how do I get my heart clean? I ask Jesus to take away my sin. So let's say it again. The blood of Jesus 
Ikazilika chesu Wash away Liasu sanumalia kesu Cleanses my heart Itabulula itiziwe ami Forgive my sin Itatele lizono zami Of all the sin Zazo zonki zonen zenzile And then if I have a clean heart, then only can I praise God from my heart. It's easy to learn a lot of new songs. Meaning, young. But if I know Jesus, I will know that I am a house and he lives in me. So God made a beautiful plan to clean our hearts so that we can praise him not only with my lips but my lips and my heart are together and my lips praise God because my heart is full of God's love so if I say I love the Lord with all my heart with all my mind with all my strength it's because my heart is full of God's love he says he's pour his love into my heart through the Holy Spirit and then everyone that has breath should praise God can you breathe in can you breathe out so that means you you, you, you we should praise God with our breath in Psalm 8 verse 2 there is a very funny verse I like that verse very much it says from the mouth of little children God has prepared some praise for him and when children open their mouth and praise God then the enemy who's the enemy? Satan and all his workers they will go shh they will be silent so if bad things happen in my town what must I do I should praise God because the Bible says praise is like a key if this door is closed and locked, you cannot put your bag inside. If the heaven is not open, then God cannot pour his blessings on you. And that includes all his miracles. How do I open the heavens? What is the key? Can you count my hands? Come count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. In Psalm 100, it says, I will enter his gates. The gate that is closed, I will open it with thanksgiving. I will come into his court with praise. I want you to say after me, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. I will come into his courts with praise. 
So when do I praise God? Only on a Sunday. <laughs> no, the Bible says from the rising of the sun. Until the evening. Oh, I'm tired, I'm going to bed now. And right through the night, I can praise God. When the sun shines, when the moon shines, when the star shines, every day of every year, every month, every week, every hour, every second, every day. Every day. How many days in a year? I was in the watch in two one again. Three hundred and sixty-five in this year. Ulunyaga. Three hundred and sixty-six because we have twenty-nine days in February. Okay, so this is very important that we should praise God. Another very important thing to remember is that God says why we should praise Him. Now, I want to put your thumbs up and say. It is good to praise the Lord. It is right to praise the Lord. What is your word? It is nice to praise the Lord. Now God says it is good, it is right, and it is my Afrikaans word. I'm going to teach you an Afrikaans word. It is laka. Can you say laka? Ah, it is laka. So the sweets we call laka hut. Huh? It is laka to praise God. So the children in grade 6 and 7 and 8 they say, It is not cool to praise God. No, it is. Your whole life you should praise God. And the best singers don't only appear on America's Got Talent. God looks down on you. He likes your voice. Oh. He likes your body. He loves it when you praise Him. And when you praise Him, something changes in your soul. So if the teacher doesn't look happy today, you say, teacher, please can we sing a song? I'm so happy, happy, happy. I'm so happy, happy, happy. I'm so happy, happy, happy. Oh, the Lord. And you will see that soon you smile, the whole class will smile, and... You, you will not feel sad anymore. He was a very angry king. His name was King Saul. We read about him in 1 Samuel chapter 16. He got so angry. He wanted to kill everyone. The Bible said he had a demon of anger. And then they had a good idea. Let's bring him someone who can play the guitar. As a little boy by the name of David. He came to King Saul. And he played for him on the guitar. And what happened? Who of you know what happened? That anger that the king had it ran away. So when I am afraid, I can start singing. I love Jesus. I am not afraid. 
and when I am angry, I can also sing. And when I'm sad, I can sing. And when I'm happy, I can sing. And when I have peace in my heart, I can sing. How do I praise God? So, with my mouth, with my words, with my vocal cords, with my hands, with my feet, with my head, with my whole body. So, I can clap my hands and praise the Lord. I can stomp my feet. And praise the Lord. I can wave my hands. And praise the Lord. I can dance and sing. And praise the Lord. I can clap my hands and praise the Lord. I can stamp my feet and praise the Lord. I can wave my hands and praise the Lord. I can dance and sing and praise the Lord. There are many ways in which I can show Jesus that I'm happy. I lift my hands. I praise him. Okay. My last picture. What is this? Yeah. A house. Meaning named Ruyam. Yeah. I in my house. Me and my house. But this is not my house. This is the house of the close presence of God. When I'm afraid of the thunderstorm is outside, I run into the house. Then I feel safe. Then I feel safe. So I want you to look at me. Look in my eyes. Look in my eyes. What I say now is very important. The Bible says in the last days, He wants to use the children. In the last days, there will be hard times coming. It will not always be easy for you. But if you have a safe place to run to, no matter of the storms of the world, if you know Jesus in your heart, take out your one sword and you have the sword of the word. Take out your spear. And you have the spear of the worship of God in your hand. Take your shield. Say, I can resist the devil. I am strong in God because I have learned to praise God with all my heart no matter what happens I want to challenge the teachers Mr. Principal are they allowed sometimes to sing in class? The teachers. Do they have a short devotion in class every day? Every, wow, that's wonderful. Every morning they have a devotion. I want to challenge all these children to learn one Bible verse every week of the year. And to learn one new song every week of the year. Just hold your hands like this. 
Hold your hands like this. And say after me. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. Thank you for today. Thank you for today. My heart is stirred. My heart is stirred. I want you to make my heart clean. Take away all my sin. Take away all my sin. Forgive me for all the wrong that I have done. I want to praise you with my mouth from a clean heart with my whole body and my mind I want to serve you thank you that I learned today how powerful my praise is and from today I will remember any time of the day I have to open my mouth and start praising God and Eswatini will be a different country the school will have a different atmosphere if all the children start to praise God thank you Lord that you are worthy to be praised you are holy you are big you are strong you are good and you love me in Jesus name Amen